either. So a good friend of mine uh, told me what's the point of using this Ethernet checker if you can check if you want to check uh, the connection between a few parts of your home and he is right so I said to myself it's not enough to check just cable but I have to add a feature so I will be able to connect it to one side of the house and then to go to the other side and to understand if the connection is okay so for this purpose I will need just one of the ports I will not need both of them because I'm not checking a cable I'm checking connection anyway so I decided to improve the code and add this feature and uh, first I will explain so we have the messages uh, going uh, on the LCD uh, up for a cable test and down for in-wall test I called it and uh, this is uh, the way I will check it so the first uh, purpose is to check cable so I will connect it to the cable as before and I will show that it is still working still doing the same feature so when I'm pressing up so I get all the connection in this cable they're all good and the other purpose so I had to prepare connection with an open cable like this so I just uh, by the way I have a crimper for this I bought it so what I need to do is of course to do short between the wires and to write a code I have written it already that will be able uh, to connect from here to the wall and then I will go to other side of the house where it is going and I will just plug this this plug and by this it will check all the connection end to end so let's see how it is working I will open uh, all the connections that are shorted uh, on this uh, let's say on this uh, port that I've prepared so I will open and I will show you how it is working so now they are all open so when they are all open I would like to know that I don't have a connection to the other side of my house so for this purpose I'm using of course just one port connecting the cable now let's see by the way how do I remove this part of the LCD I don't need the protection it looks like there is a paper protection ah, I'm not sure that I can take it off ah, I can take it off picture will be much better okay so now let's see when I'm a uh, I will show you pressing the down button so it says X X mean disconnected all the wires are disconnected now no short now I will take this end of the cable and I will connect I don't know if this is the first of or the last let's see I'm connecting or shorting just one pair and now I'm testing it yes so I've connected one and two as you can see in the display now I will connect another let's connect a uh, the next one the next one will be three connected to four okay so I will show you so three connected to four now I will do a cross between 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 so I will connect 5 let's say to 8 let's see how to do it I will take what left so I will connect I will do 5 to 8 and then 
uh, the opposite one you will see that it is not by the same it is checking also this flip so you can see that 5 connected to 8 and 7 to 6 so I can know also how it is connected inside the wall if I have a swap or a flip or something that I don't know so now it's a uh, pretty perfect now I will change the, the strange cross because I want to show to be 1 to 2 uh, 2 to 3 and, and so on so I will connect as I expect the short to be ok now let's test to see that it is ok so you can see 1 connected to 2, 3 to 4 5 to 6 and 7 to 8 in this way I can check uh, at my home end to end if all the wires are uh, connected as expected so this is added to my code I will share all my code later in my site feel free to ask questions and bye bye